Shinda Management Corporation is back in the news again over its failure to provide adequate heat and hot water to elderly tenants, this time in Harlem. I've called 311. I guess they're tired of me. Five different inspectors came in the last two weeks. 78-year-old Geneva Hutcherson saw our last report on a Shinda-managed senior living building in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, where Joe Lojudice and his fellow tenants have been without hot water for almost two weeks. Miss Hutcherson and her neighbors on West 116th Street haven't had heat since Thanksgiving. All the windows are blocked with all types of plastic and material and towels. Both of the windows in Miss Hutcherson's apartment are sealed shut. No fresh air or daylight gets in. She's also using multiple space heaters, pots of boiling water, and her oven to keep warm. And after already going weeks with no heat, Miss Hutcherson says Shinda blew yesterday's deadline to install a temporary boiler. We checked, her unit's built-in baseboard heaters are still ice cold. You're a manager. You mean to tell me you're not gonna check your boilers before the onset of winter? We left a message with Shinda management about Miss Hutcherson's building, and we also decided to follow up with Mr. Lojudice over in Brooklyn. I still have no hot water. A day after our interview with Mr. Lojudice, action. Equipment started arriving today, in fairness. And sure enough, a Shinda employee tersely told me over the phone, quote, we are aware of the situation and we are handling it. Back in Harlem, where Shinda is also having problems fulfilling its management responsibilities to its tenants, Miss Hutcherson is fuming. I need heat because if I don't, it's detrimental to my health.